You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio KIG 79, serving the Nashville metropolitan area. The current time is 8.13 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of north and central Tennessee. For today and tonight, unusually cold temperatures for this time of year are expected. Lows will be in the mid-20s tonight. Citizens are advised to cover up in blankets and coats, and drink hot tea, or cocoa. For the period of Monday through Saturday, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter activation may be needed today and tonight. At 8 a.m. at Nashville International Airport, it was snow showers. The temperature was 27 degrees. The dew point was 24, and the relative humidity was 83%. The wind was southeast at 13 miles per hour, making the wind chill factor around 19 degrees. The pressure was 28.93 inches and steady. Total accumulated snowfall is about 1.5 inches, with 0.5 to 1 inch still to come. In other areas in the region, it was 27 in Murfreesboro, 26 in Franklin, 25 in Hendersonville, 26 in Goodlettsville, and 27 in Spring Hill. Here is the forecast for the Nashville metropolitan area. For today, snow showers. Highs near 42. Wind southeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, snow flurries. Low of 23. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. High of 44. Wind calm. Tomorrow night, cloudy. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio WXL60, serving the Roanoke area. The current time is 1046 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook for the Roanoke, Virginia area. For today and tonight, unusually low temperatures for this time of year are expected. Lows tonight will be in the low to mid-teens. Citizens are advised to cover up in blankets and coats, and drink warm beverages. For the period of Monday through Saturday, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter activation may be needed today and tonight. At Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature was 18 degrees. The dew point was 12, and the relative humidity was 76%. The wind was south-southeast at 11 miles per hour, making the wind chill factor around 6. The pressure was 29.62 inches and steady. Total accumulated snowfall is around 3 inches and risen. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio WXL60, serving the Roanoke area. The current time is 11.21 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Here is the hazardous weather. The National Weather Service in Roanoke has issued a wind chill warning, which is in effect until 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Monday. Temperatures across the Roanoke metro area will fall to around 8 degrees overnight. These bitterly cold temperatures will combine with winds of 15 to 25 miles per hour to cause very low wind chill readings of 10 to 15 below zero. Some locally higher wind gusts up to 35 to 40 miles per hour will be possible near the Lake Huron shoreline. Wind chills values will remain near 10 below zero into Monday morning. A wind chill warning means the combination of very cold air and strong winds will create dangerously low wind chill values. This will result in frostbite and lead to hypothermia if precautions are not taken. Persons should avoid going outdoors and wear warm protective clothing if they must venture outside.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, many reports of power lines, cars, and plants being frozen solid were reported across the East Coast. Many reports state that the temperature has plummeted to near 10 degrees in places like Nashville, Birmingham, Atlanta, and Charlotte. Zero degrees in places like Baltimore, Philadelphia, Richmond, and Washington, D.C. And even down to 10 to 15 below in places like Boston, New York City, and Providence. All residents along the East Coast should remain indoors and cover up in blankets and coats. Stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio WNG 655, serving the Alameda Martinez area. The current time is 11.32 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of North and Central California. For tonight, unusually cold temperatures are expected. The low for tonight is expected to be in the low 40s through tomorrow morning. Further forecasts and models will determine when this cold blast will cease. Take extra precautions by bringing all pets and plants indoors until this cold blast has ceased. If possible, stay indoors in a heated environment. If you must be outdoors, wear jackets and coats. Hypothermia may be possible if proper clothing isn't worn. Civil danger for the areas of northern Alabama, north and central Georgia, eastern Tennessee, and western North Carolina. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Due to extremely cold temperatures across several areas inside the country, several dangerous events have been unfolding. There have been many reports of people getting frostbite and hypothermia from the extremely cold temperatures which have taken a nosedive down towards zero degrees Fahrenheit. Many car tires have lost pressure due to the low temperatures. Some cars have even frozen solid, being unable to start. The reason for the Arctic wave is unknown at this time, however, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will be looking into this. Stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio KE2XWP, serving the Ridgeville area. The current time is 7.32 a.m. Central Standard Time. Here is the hazardous weather outlook. This hazardous weather outlook is... Civil danger for the states of Minnesota and Wisconsin. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agencies of Minnesota and Wisconsin. At around 7 a.m. Central Daylight Time, an extreme temperature drop was reported, due to temperatures falling to 25 to 30 below, with wind chill factors of 40 to 45 below zero. Because of this, cars, plants, poles, and power lines were frozen solid, causing them to break and cause large amounts of power outages in the area. Some reports state that some people have actually frozen solid where they stand. Emergency services are having difficulty trying to assist those in need due to the low temperatures. Citizens not affected are advised to stay indoors in a heated environment. Do anything possible to stay warm and away from the outside environment.
Stay tuned to media outlets for further information on this situation. Civil Danger Warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Decreasingly low temperatures have been reported across the country, and NASA scientists have now figured out why this is happening. It is believed to be caused by the Earth moving away from the Sun. As many as 300,000 casualties have been reported across the country, and that number is expected to rise. Heated shelters are being set up in many areas across the country. If possible, get to these shelters as soon as possible. NASA is trying to find a solution to this problem, so that our planet will not freeze all of humanity to extinction. Stay tuned to this station for more information on this dangerous situation. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important details will follow. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the United States government. This is not a test. Repeat. This is not a test. At 5.39 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, there have been reports of temperatures plummeting down towards negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit to as low as negative 120 degrees Fahrenheit, with some instances of negative 150 degrees or lower. There have also been blackouts due to the power lines being frozen by these cold temperatures. There have also been reports of citizens being in a frozen state, being unable to move. However, do not panic just yet. This problem can still be solved. There is still hope for this planet. NASA just needs more time. Stay tuned for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WFLD. We will continue to serve the Chicago metropolitan area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Chicago area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WFLD. We will continue to serve the Chicago metropolitan area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. 
You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Chicago area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is WFLD. This station will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Chicago metro area. If you are not in the Chicago area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your area. It is important that you listen carefully to announcements from the station in your local area. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At 9.32 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, there has been reports of incredibly low temperatures across the world, causing catastrophic damage. Temperatures have plummeted down towards minus 150 degrees Fahrenheit, to as low as minus 200, with some instances of minus 250 or lower. Blackouts have been reported as well, due to low temperatures, due to the power lines being frozen solid. Everything is frozen solid. In addition, NASA has made a bone-chilling discovery. No pun intended. It is confirmed that all attempts to push the Earth towards the Sun have failed, and as a result, there is no way of stopping this situation from escalating further. Hundreds of millions of deaths have already occurred, and the entire human race is dead silent as this terrible event occurs. There is no place to escape to. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode. Anybody receiving this broadcast, gather your friends and family, and say goodbye to our beautiful blue and green planet. We will live on in the afterlife. Isaiah 41.10 Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. May God help us all. The emergency alert system will now sign off for the final time to prepare for the end of the world.